Hi friends, I am Shramana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. In the previous video, we have seen only group by with some uh, aggregation function in PySpark. In today's video, we will see how to apply some where conditions to that group by function and then performing the aggregations. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So friends, this is the table that we are going to work on today. This is the order items table and here we have order item ID, order item order ID, order item product ID and so on. So this order item order ID is the uh, like uh, the primary key between the order table and order items table. So here we will see that for each order we, we will have duplicate records. Du it's not duplicate but same order what is the product price, product quantity, I mean order item quantity and all it will be there. And the scenario is like we have to get the uh, subtotal, uh, sum of the subtotal for each order item order ID which means that for one what is the total for two what is the total like that we have so many other I order item order ID IDs and also we have to apply one condition like if the order item quantity is having a single order which means if it is equal to one then we have to update the price as hundred and then perform the aggregation otherwise if it's not one then we have to uh, sum up all the remaining subtotal prices that we will see in today's video and this is the sample data that we have uh, friends so I have created one order DF okay and uh, here in the data bricks uh, the font might be a bit smaller so I have uploaded the code to the github and I am giving the github link in the description box please check there for the sample code whatever I am writing here so here friends for in this order items table these are the ones I have as I said here we have one for order ID one this is the one for order ID uh, order, order item order ID there are three rows present and similarly for four four rows for five five rows for seven three rows something like that okay so these are getting multiple there are multiple order item IDs in the same table so now what we have to do is let's take this two so for this two we have three rows and we have to sum up these three rows based on the order item quantity number which means that see here for two rows it is one one which means we have to update this as hundred this as hundred but this 250.0 will be the same then sum up all these things then return and similarly friends we will have something some where conditions related to dates where uh, you have to get only the date uh, between uh, this month's date or which the, the, the orders which fall under the uh, same month this month or January month or something like that or it might be greater than some other date so such kind of where conditions we should be applying du during the real time right so this example will help you to answer such kind of scenarios. So what we have to do is get the same uh, order item subtotal for each order item order ID and then for the products uh, which, which is having less than 1 we have to apply it as 0 I mean 100 otherwise we have to update the same thing. Now let's write the code for this we have order ID, order uh, DF with the order ID details. So now let me create a result DF and here I am saying that group by order item order ID and then dot in the aggregation okay you have to import uh, PySpark dot uh, I mean from pyspark.sql import functions as f then that f I am using in the same text uh, databricks notepad I have already imported that's why it is working for me here ok so now inside this sum we have to get apply the where condition so that that one will be summed up so I will say f dot when this order item quantity 
which is the column if we don't give the column it will consider that as a string that's why we have to give f dot column is greater than f dot lit of 1 if it is greater then take the order item price which means f call price ok so when when is ending here now otherwise f dot lit of 100 ok you understood right so we are summing up by checking when order item quantity is greater than 1 if it's greater than 1 then take the whatever subtotal is already there if not if it is not greater than 1 which means 1 or 0 then consider that as 100 and then perform the sum and based on this group by ok so now let's run this code We forgot to add the alias. Where is aggregation? Okay. We will put it as total sales. Where is it ending? Yeah. Now you can see for each order item it is showing see show right so by default it is showing some 20 rows i think so let's uh, filter this for two so that we can clearly analyze okay so what is this one so for order item id it is giving the total sales as 450 now let's verify whether this is correct or not so for the order item id 2 there are 3 rows present so in the order item quantity we have 1 and 1 which means 100 plus 100 plus the second one is quantity is 5 so it should be as is so 250 total 450 and here we have the answer ok friends and similarly whatever you are mentioning uh, in the previous example we have seen uh, how we can I don't know whether I have it or not yeah uh, exactly see I have it I think the here in the aggregate list we are putting the whatever uh, aggregations we are going to do we will assign that to a variable and we will pass that to the aggregation function and similarly here also we can do the same by just mentioning all these things in a uh, aggregate list and then we can pass it as a parameter to aggregation function and also whatever inside when that you are going to put right like from here to here even that we can have it in a when condition and that when condition variable you can just pass this way ok clear now see when when expression which means it will take this and then when this condition get this value otherwise get this value so like this if you have more when's right after con completing click on this uh, sum right of, uh, if you have multiple conditions here again you can have another when condition or you can have multiple when expressions here okay when to when so here after that again you can put dot when 
and have some other condition okay so likewise you can have how many when conditions you wanted to add then finally you can uh, and also aliases also whatever so how many aggregation expressions you have those many aliases you can give okay this is how we can get uh, the uh, what is it aggregation we can do based on some condition in a single line hope uh, this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you